don't condone the use of any substance. I'm only telling stories of my experiences back then. Hey YouTube, so I've been working on this psychedelic video for the past few days now. And while I was working on it, I realized that it was very long. It goes a little bit over half an hour long. So what I'm going to do is separate this video into three parts. The first video, which is this one, is going to be about sharing some references, some people that I've looked into and researched within my own journey and experience in diving into psychedelics. And I'm also going to share my first experience on magic mushrooms. The following next two videos are going to be other experiences that I've had afterward. Here's a video and I hope you enjoy it. You guys are mushroom people. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. hey YouTube, my name is Paris and welcome to Artists of Life. This is a place for me to be myself and thrive in an environment where I can be myself. If you're new to this channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I got another request on my Instagram to talk about psychedelics. This is a cool one. As this is the first time I'm going to introduce some of the more controversial topics on this YouTube channel. I'm going to recommend three sources of information pertaining to the realm of psychedelics. For what it's worth, these are all people that I highly respect and appreciate for their passion and dedication and their contribution to consciousness. The first one is Terence McKenna. I consider him to be kind of like the godfather of psychedelics because of the way that he's been able to articulate the experiences within his own journey and share them to masses. He definitely has a truly unique way of explaining these experiences and a philosophy in utilizing psychedelics for our spiritual growth and development. Now the second person that I'd like to refer you guys to is Adam from Psyched Substance. Now his channel is solely dedicated to harm reduction purposes and educating people about psychedelics. What it's like, the experiences, and also his own personal experience. Me personally, I haven't had too many experiences with drugs or any thing like that. The only substances that I personally explored is cannabis and mushrooms. The channel Psych Substance covers a wide variety of different types of psychedelics and drugs in general and he offers very useful information if you're trying to get into this kind of thing. And the last channel I'm going to recommend for just a wide variety of different types of information regarding spiritual growth and spiritual concepts is spirit science. They utilize cartoons and friendly visuals to illustrate and articulate highly complicated spiritual concepts and I really appreciate everything that they've done because they've woken up so many people to basically more of our selves. I believe they're making a series about ayahuasca and the use of psychedelics for spiritual growth as well. These are all channels that I highly recommend if you want to dive deeper into this stuff. You can listen to my stories but there are definitely other credible sources of information out there that you may find a lot more value in as well. Whenever we explore a teacher of the earth, a psychedelic or an external substance, I consciously intend to treat it like a classroom. And like all classrooms, we must pay attention in order for us to graduate and move on to the next level of knowledge and understanding. Now I'm gonna get into telling my stories and my own experiences with psychedelics, in particular, magic mushrooms. So magic mushrooms is the only psychedelic that I have experience in and from the get-go I've always set the intentions before going into any kind of experience utilizing a, a, an external substance for spiritual growth. I have that intention for spiritual growth. So the experiences that I have are very profound and I haven't really had a bad trip so far in what I have experienced. To me it's interesting because in the beginning of when I started to explore the use of external substances I was actually more drawn to magic mushrooms than I was cannabis and to this day I can still say that. I'm more drawn spiritually to learning from the classroom of mushrooms than I am cannabis. That's just how it is right now. From my research, I've gathered that mushrooms have been utilized by ancient civilizations for thousands, tens of thousands of years to connect to spirit. And this was kind of like a trigger piece of information for me that had me interested in exploring myself through that. Now, like I say at the beginning of this video, my intentions for going into any kind of experience with an external substance is to treat it like it is a classroom. And like all classrooms, we must graduate from the classroom and in order to do that, we must pay attention in the classroom. I utilize these things with the intention for spiritual growth to understand more of who I am as a person, more of who I am in my multidimensional nature, and more of the reality around me. 
I know this intention to be very true in my heart and very true to the very core of my being. And so whenever I have an experience, even if it is bad subjectively to the individual, I always see something to learn from it. I feel that psychedelics are things to be respected. They're teachers of the earth. And if we treat them with respect and don't take advantage of them or utilize them to just basically mess ourselves up, then there is much potential to looking at our circumstances from different points of view through the filter, through the frequency of these teachers. Mushrooms, in my experience, have an interesting way of making you face your belief systems, making you face deep aspects of yourself, your subconscious mind, to the things that you are consciously aware of in yourself. Now, this is scary to some people because a lot of us are afraid of ourselves. For me, all the more reason to dive headfirst into it because in my reality, I am every day making the conscious choice to change my life. And so through this experience, I have very much so. Intentions is everything and when I go into an experience I always look for the practical reasons for why it is useful in my life moving forward out of the experience. Moving on I want to tell some brief stories of my experiences on mushrooms and these are no joke. The first time I ever encountered mushrooms was through a friend. For this video I'm gonna call him Greg. Like I said in my cannabis video, prior to me exploring any kind of external substance for connectivity or expansion of my consciousness, I used to be highly against the use of any external substances, very judgmental towards the use of anything to connect deeper to myself. It actually kind of took me a while for me to be open to taking it, but there was a point in time in my journey where I was like, if I say that I'm someone who searches for answers, and if I am someone who is open to things in life, to discovering more of myself through the experiences that I have, then why am I closed off to this experience? Isn't there something that I can learn from accessing this different state of consciousness? Perhaps I must change my perspective to see it as a teacher, something that can only benefit me in terms of my growth and understanding of myself. Oh, and also for me in my journey so far, I've only been open consciously. I choose this. I've only been open to the natural psychedelics such as DMT, ayahuasca, or magic mushrooms. These are naturally occurring chemicals that have just manifested themselves in the earth, in our world and in our bodies. And for me, that's just what resonates most is the teachers that come from the earth. But anyway, I took a little cap and that was enough to suffice me having an experience. Now, when I did this little cap, I did it at night in the forest of two other friends. It took about 30 minutes for it to hit me, this little tiny cap. And I began to feel a body high. It wasn't like cannabis where it was like very floaty, a very floaty, airy body high. It was very earthy to say the least. It was kind of like my body was heavy, but it was high at the same time. It's hard for me to describe it. I would close my eyes and I would see slight visuals of sacred geometry. There was a point in time within the journey and the experience too, where I could feel the energy of the two people around me, but it wasn't like a ball of energy, like my cannabis experience. I could just feel them. I could feel their essence. And when I looked down, my eyes were closed. I could see a red cord going from our bodies. We were in a car too. I could feel, I could see a red cord coming from our bodies right down to like the center of the earth. And I could feel our energies connecting at the base of these energetic cords. Nature all around me seemed to be breathing, not even just nature, but inanimate objects. Everything around me just kind of had this expanding visual, like it was alive. Inanimate objects to nature is very interesting and something that I'm now able to replicate within my natural meditations. Now this was just a microdose. I had another experience at my friend Greg's house where I took a little bit of a higher dosage, possibly a gram or so. And within this experience, I had a number of different epiphanies, but also a number of different, I, it was a journey. It was a trip. Thank you. 